same prayer. They got more out of the earthquake, or the more out of the singing and praying than they did the earthquake, amen? Not singing and praying, but more the fear of God in them than the earthquake did. And one man, I said, Paul ain't complaining. Silas ain't complaining. Get back to the bread and say, how many got saved that night? Well, just one. Initially, just one. Well, that wasn't too productive, was it? Yes, it was. We're forgetting about the ministry. You may be among the masses. You may be at the family reunion in the crowd. You may be uptown. And God lays on your heart to do one thing. And you say, well, all these people are mock me and laugh at me. But what about the one? <laughs> what about the one that God has providentially put there? That's right. I mean, we're at that concert, but we got a few thousand, a few thousand. But who was there, you think, that God put there to hear the preacher? Can you imagine? I don't know what, uh, what the, she says, but can you imagine being there trying to get in that concert with his wife? And all you can hear is the echoing voice of a man of God preaching. They try to get right with God and get back in church and serve the Lord. God knows how to line you up. I was in the Frankfurt, Germany airport. Needless to say, it was the first time I'd ever been, probably, well, the second time I flew out of Atlanta with the JFK. Never been to JFK. Never been to New York. I want to go back to New York three times. But I never have been there that one time. And I didn't go outside. I've been to Chicago one time. I didn't go downtown. I've been to Miami one time. And it's as close to Cuba to hell as you get. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, 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 was in, I was in New York. I sat there by myself. Had about three hours to kill, four hours to kill. Walked around New York. Uh, and the airport there, JFK. And then I flew to Frankfurt. The next morning I got to Frankfurt. I didn't know anybody in Frankfurt. I mean, I don't know somebody in Frankfurt. All right, you know what I'm at? I didn't know anybody in Frankfurt. I didn't know anything about airports. You see, every fly while you get with the group in that airport stuff, you know where to go. I always like to fly through Minneapolis and go out south of North Dakota because I know Minneapolis Airport. I know where Starbucks is. I know where the little shops I like to go in. And I, and I try to schedule my flight here. Hey, I ain't one of them people schedule a flight where you got 20 minutes to go to the plane. I always schedule me in about a four hour layover. I like I like airport. I like hanging out. I like walking around and just shopping and sitting around and drinking. So I schedule me two or three hours and I got plenty of time. I'm thinking about where I'm going to do this again. <laughs> so I like I like, I like uh, Denver. Beautiful. I like that. Looks like that. You like Denver, too. Let's be you go to Denver sometime again. I like Denver. And I said in this Frankfurt airport. I didn't know anybody to go Not Not so. This man came up to me. This is fun. This man came up. I didn't know where to go. I was fixing this one. Fly. They had stuff. Some of them written in English. Some of them written in where I come because they talk. And uh, brother, this man called me and said, Father Ball! <laughs> Father Ball. <laughs> I don't have no kids over here. <laughs> Father Ball! I said, My name is Billy. Ball. Yes, we Father Wheaton. I said, I'm not Father. He said, Oh, you're a minister, aren't you? I said, Yes, I, I'm not a minister. <coughs> well, he said, I'm not making part. I thought you maybe, you know, a father and all that. So I can follow him. This is different stuff. And he said, I, I, I was told to get you on your plane. I said, who told you that? And he told me, I don't know who that is. Never heard of that. It wasn't where I was going. I told him that. And that man got me on that plane. I have, listen, I'm telling you something. God sends people to you. And God sends you to people. I'm going to tell you all something right here. And I want you to listen to me closely. So I'm going a little bit. Y'all are crazy. Get back to doing this. Come on. 